This time on Weekend Rental, we checked out NBA Jam 2K22, a fan hack of the PS1 original um, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. It brings in some new characters, it fixes some balance and uh, port issues, some inconsistencies between the arcade version and the home version, some minor stuff I can't really cover. Uh, if you've never played NBA Jam, it is a midway arcade classic style b-ball game, 2v2. Uh, lots of dunks, lots of high flying jumps, and wild shots. The only uh, real rule that seems to be enforced is goaltending. Um, and of course, how many points you make for the different types of shots. Uh, we've played about three matches, I think, online via Nolte C Bear. So we got a pretty good read on how it plays, and um, you know, I don't think we've all played the PS1 original, but I think we've all played some version of NBA Jam. Pants Problem's gonna tell us what he thought of NBA 2K22. Pants Problems. It's it's NBA Jam. It's uh it's amazing. Every 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 time you play NBA Jam, it's amazing. No matter what shitty port you play, no matter like the the best thing about it, it's fun. It's great, and also the fact that there are new fan hacks coming out with it, and then the, the cheat codes still work with it, it's great. I mean, it's NBA Jam. Even if you play a shitty port on, like, the Genesis, Super Nintendo, like, it, it's always good. But this PS1 version is fantastic, 2K22. It's 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 right neat. So, you know, I, 5 out of 5. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good time, so. Curious what you think, Neosense. Thank you, Pants Problem. I have always adored this game. I think it is far and away my favorite basketball game. And this thing is just better than ever with the uh, addition of modern, you know, this year, uh, giants of sport that have just been added seamlessly into the game. It, it looks a little uncanny. Their faces wrapped around the old technology of, of this PlayStation 1 port, but it you don't notice it for a second. And once the action starts moving and the the bullying and the shooting is all going underway, you, you, you feel like there's weirdly a retro uh, futuristic NBA jam that has just been released. I absolutely love this game. Razzle Dazzle. How did you feel though, Filter? Slam jam. Thank you, ma'am. We got a real jam going now. Uh, this is a commendable project. Like, it is remarkable what they've done here. Uh, bringing up, I guess, what was probably the most uh, ready for improvement version of the PS1 port. It's got graphics that look pretty close to the arcade version and, you know, the sound, uh, of course, being CD quality, um, pretty much as good as you're going to get. Uh, so I, I think it's the right one for people to start updating it works with the multi-tap you can play it online and uh, the game feels is perfect i mean it's it's what i remember in nba jam feeling and i think it's a little tighter honestly i think it's tighter than arcade versions or the super nintendo version the dunks feel more i don't know consistent um with how they operate and how they blow people back uh and and it's great to see new characters added i wish we had uh looked up and saw that you know snoop dogg's been added for uh, dog 420 um but we'll definitely be trying that cheat code next time i play um so you know even you know on top of the basketball players they've added to the game they've also added cheat code characters so you know what more could you ask for time on time how'd you feel about this one why thank you filter i doubt i'll put it as eloquently as you but i felt great about this game uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be straight up. I didn't really understand how to play it until that last game there when we were playing as, uh, as Thurston Moore, Heavy D, Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton. The most hilarious matchup uh, in the history of the sport, I imagine. Um, but that didn't stop me from enjoying myself thoroughly the entire time. It did feel tight. Uh, I felt like once I did get a, a handle on like what the buttons did and stuff like that, um, it was easy enough to, it, it felt like what I wanted to happen happened when I wanted it to happen. And that's something that's way more than I could say for any other video game that looks like this. Um, 
I wasn't totally aware that this was a hacked version of this game until a little bit into booting it up when I saw 2K22, and that, of course, made me chuckle. Uh, I liked this thing a lot. I think that it's simple enough, it's impossible not to enjoy, and I was getting my ass kicked the entire time. Um, so that should stand as a testament to that. Uh, I feel like this should be required to be played in the background of any four-person Zoom call, professional or otherwise. Uh, this should just always be uh, happening during uh, as, as sort of a, a sort of an icebreaker. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I could I could see this just happening in the background of a lot of things. Is I guess my point. Great game. Five Garfields across the board. Everybody gave it five Garfields, and it was well deserved. NBA Jam 2K22. It's 2022, baby. That's right. A rare treat. Do yourself a favor and check it out. Definitely. Download this thing for free. Get the cheats. Go off. Be the Chicago Bull. Be the Hornet. We didn't get to try them out. <laughs> so some of those some of those cheats were new? Not the ones That's... Steven had looked up, yeah. but there were more. I was, uh, I was reading the patch notes, right. and there's some more. Yeah. That's Gotta awesome. try Snoop Dogg. I bet he's scrawny it's... and small. You're right on the money, though, Philip. It, it's like the perfect format to just plug things into. Mm -hmm. Like, like oh, you yeah. could mod you anything into this. Some fucking head into it and say you're this yay high or nay high, and then yeah. <laughs> absolutely, it, you could skin in like cartoon yeah. character, anything, and it would totally work. Uh, I animal. almost yeah. wish they would make a new NBA Jam where you could take three pictures of your face and pop it onto whatever character, like custom I'd character. I'd be there. Right. Weren't they Slam dunk that? Thing. Did they do that? Yeah. I, I think for that fucking 2011 Wii one, they were talking about like doing weird facial scanning stuff. <laughs> it was like, eh. Oh man. But Did that not NBA happen? An NBA 2K had a face scan thing and they would put you in the game. It's not the right uh, fidelity of game to do that on. No. Yeah. No. They're taking it seriously. It seems to be, it needs to be what we just did. Damn, yeah. Damn good. good time. See my good avatar. Good. And, and yeah, it is like the most, I think definitely the most responsive arcade -y. I felt like everything was happening, right? Like oh, if yeah, I flew past happy. the goal is because I jumped too late or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, it's, it's an totally, awesome arcade game. It's really hard to fuck up NBA Jam. People have done it. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it, I've played bad NBA Jam ports. NBA Extreme put, is, yeah. is horrible, but...